Yep. So what I've done is I've built this serial monitor using VB.net and C sharp. So you can see I'm looking for a, a COM port 68. It's not there. Let's turn it on. Hit refresh. And bang, there she is. Hit connect. Hit disconnect. Wrong speed for my, my stuff. Hit connect. Let's send some information to it. Bang, it gives me some information, but it also gives me the hex, it also gives me the decimal. Alright, so I'll do that again. I've got timestamps, if I want to timestamp, I've got send, show the descent data, I can pause the auto scroll, I can save each of the different things if I want to, I can clear them. Alright, I'll show you the code behind it. Start with the WPF. I mean the XAML, sorry. I'll go nice and slow in case you want to pinch it. Yep, so you can just see I've got some I've got some grids, some stack panels, some combo boxes, another stack panel, some buttons. Some grid splitters, you can do this. I should show you, you can do this. Bring it in here. You can resize, the, the, if you're not interested, you can pretty much size them out if you wanted. Yep, keep going through. There you go, there's the grid splitters. That's the end of the window. Let's go to vb.net. Alright, so you've got the um, the imports, and then we have some serial port stuff, the connect button stuff, the send button stuff. Now, if you've got the um, line dumping in the rich text boxes, we've got that. Got the data received, we've got the append data received, so that puts it in the text boxes. You close the serial port, refresh the serial port button, save the text box, some button click events, and we've got the save all button. Yep, so if this is this interesting you, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button because I will do a tutorial on how you do all this. I'm going to re rejig this a bit in blend to make it a bit more pretty. Um, and that's it. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. See you on the next one.